So guys how are you what if Naruto was Revenge of the Blood Maiden from Femme Kyubi movie? Sitting atop the head of the first Hokage was a woman of ravishing beauty. She had short black hair that ran down the back of her neck. She had dark blue eyes that resembled the coldest darkest part of the ocean deep. She was 5 foot 6 inches tall and wore a black dress made of pure silk with a golden belt around her waist that held her kanai pouch. She had a large katana strapped to her back, this woman was none other than Lila. Her name means dark beauty, she came from the infamous Night Shroud clan that was well infamous for their bloodlust bloodline. The bloodline allows them superior strength and speed as well as a hunger for blood on the battlefield. They can still tell an ally from an enemy but their bloodlust is hard to control when unlocked at an early age, the clan heiress looked down upon the village with eyes filled with hatred and resentment, why is she like that you ask? Because today marks the six year anniversary of Naruto's death, that's right Naruto Uzumaki, her husband who she married in secret before his unlawful execution by the hands of the Yandaimi Hokage. Flashback six years ago after Naruto brought back Sasuke from the Valley of End he was brought before the council and the Hokage at the time Tsunade Senju. The council were furious that the demon boy had used the Nine Tails Chakra against their precious Uchiha and called for the boy's execution which Tsunade agreed with shocking the blonde. Her husband asked Tsunade why she would agree with this considering she knows he's not a demon, the Hokage herself revealed that she only pretended to like him as did everyone else to ensure his loyalty to the village. Lila was the clan head of her clan at the time and was there during the meeting, she was the only one who truly respected Naruto for his sacrifice as a Jinchuriki and she saw him as a normal human being. Your so called friends only pretended to be your friends to ensure you were remained loyal to the village, Tsunade sneered, now we won't have to worry about that anymore now that Yandaimi has finally returned from exile after 13 years to finish you off demon. Minato is alive, Lila thought to herself. Then right on cue the Yandaimi and his wife appeared before their very eyes. She wondered how in HWLL Minato was still alive, Minato explained how he sealed the Nine Tails into his son using a complex seal which would fuse the Nine Tails and Naruto's soul together when his son turned 13. So when Naruto died the Nine Tails would join him in death never to return. He also faked his death so that it wouldn't trigger the legendary rage of the Kyubi. Naruto in his rage towards the Yandaimi for ruining his life since he was born charged at Minato. The Shodem necklace subdued him pretty well due to the necklace being filled with the chakra of Hashirama. Minato talked to Naruto as if the boy was Kyubi himself and told him that his days are numbered on this earth. Naruto was quickly knocked out with a knee to the head, his unconscious body was dragged to a holding cell till his execution. After Naruto's body was removed Lila unleashed her anger and rage on the Yandaimi for his sins against his only son. Minato knew from Tsunade and Hiruzen's letters that she was his former son's only friend in the village maybe even closer than that, Minato took every single insult, both hurtful and racial from her. Lila's colorful language would make even the most hardcore shinobi proud, Minato stood firm and told her that this was necessary for the greater good of the village, he didn't care if she hated or despised his very existence. Lila seeing that nothing was phasing him continued on with her rant. You have no idea what your little ceiling stunt cost the boy Lila ranted. Lila knew how Jinchuriki lived and even thought she respected her lover for his sacrifice she believed he deserved more for that burden he had to carry, she was the only one who showed him love and affection even when no one else did, she was his only ray of light. I know what it cost but the village would have been destroyed if I haven't done it, Minato said calmly. You could have had his status a secret so he could live a happy life. Our village was weak after the attack, if other villages found out about our weakened state they would have destroyed us in an instant, so by announcing his status it would keep them at bay giving the leaf time to rebuild. Besides Lila from what Hiruzen and Suande told us in their letters, you were our child's only friend in the village, we were told how you attacked the people of the village to prevent them from attacking Naruto, Kashina said. Because I know Jinchuriki are treated Lila replied seethingly, after all you should know Kashina. The villagers needed an outlet for their rage and sadness, Naruto was the only thing that fit the bill and we knew that, Minato said. If you wanted to get rid of the Kyubi so bad then you should have let your whore take it with her to her death, Lila seethed. Don't. Ever insult my wife like that again Minato growled. I was too weak to contain the Kyubi at the time. The seal my husband created would ensure the Nine Tails would never again reform into the world, we would be free from it, even if my former son suffered for it, Kashina retorted. 
Did you even love your son? Lila asked coldly. How dare you ask us that, of course we did but our son died the moment Minato sealed the fox in him, now the fox wears my son's skin and taunts me every single day and that alone is shameful enough for me, Kashina responded harshly. Sounds like false love to me, you chose your son so you wouldn't have to to carry Kayubi anymore. You calling me a coward night shroud? Kashina growled. Lila was about to retort until the Yandaimi interrupted her again. I don't care if you never forgive us or if you hate me all your life. The execution will still go on as scheduled, I don't care where you go or what you do after the demon's execution, Minato replied coldly, but understand this if you do anything to my precious people then you'll be joining him. To think I respected you Minato, she shouted, to think my parents lied to me about you being a hero, a shinobi with a heart of gold, to think I wanted to be like you, a cold-hearted bastard and your wife a toad-sucking cock whore who would sell their own child because you were too weak to seal the Kyubi into yourselves, cowards both of you. Call us what you want Lila Kashina replied, but the survival of the village outweighs the need of one child. Some Uzumaki you or Lila scoffed, I should have known Mito Sama's teaching about family meant nothing to you. You watch your tongue Tsunade roared, Kashina knows more about family than anyone, you're just upset because you're going to lose your demon boy toy, your parents died because of the Ninetales, they would be turning in their graves knowing their daughter is betting the demon that killed them says the drunken whore who ran away from her problems after Dan Kato and Nawaki died, stick what you do best Tsunade, drinking your problems away, Lila smirked. At least I don't flirt or whore myself out to demons like you do. Lila seethed as her eyes turned blood red and her nails grew sharper. Her hair even turned more spiky, this was the clan's bloodlust bloodline's purest form. It makes the person look more feral, the clan council and the Hokage knew Lila activated her bloodline but Minato wasn't even phased. He stared her down as if it was nothing, after a few moments Lila calmed down but spit in Minato's face shocking the council at her disrespect towards the Yandaimi. She then left the council chamber but not before vowing her revenge against the clans of the Leaf especially Minato. Of course the council though afraid felt she was blowing hot air but Minato and Tsunade were a different story. They knew the Night Shroud clan carried out their revenge once they've sworn to do so. They had to keep their eyes open and watch for any move that Lila would make. Lila visited Naruto in the holding cell after threatening some of the guards who knew not to piss off a Night Shroud. Naruto was happy to see her and they spent the remainder of the night talking. During the night Lila offered her virginity to him which he immediately accepted. It was the first and only moment of love that Naruto would ever have. Lila told Naruto that if she ends up pregnant she would vow to make their child into a ninja that the leaf would fear above all else, also considering Kayubi and Naruto were fused their child would be half or even a quarter-tailed beast which was fine with her, she bid him farewell but not before he made her swear not to reveal their child's father until the child was powerful enough to protect itself. The execution was carried out the following day as her husband was taken to the village square. Food and stones were thrown at Naruto as he was brought before the Yandaimi who said it was a proud day for Konoha to be rid of the Kayubi forever. Naruto was strapped down to a stone tablet where he was cut open and his organs removed one by one with a red hot kanai. Every scream he made the villagers cheer louder, Naruto then had a torch plunged into his body setting his insides on fire resulting in blood curling screams of agonizing pain. Minato looked down upon the dying boy as he stomped on the boy's chest causing blood to come out of the boy's mouth, when the boy stopped moving Minato had the body torn apart and tossed into a pyre where the body was burned, Lila watched every single moment of the torture and the hatred and darkness inside of her grew more and more dark with each scream that came from her husband's mouth, she watched in bleeding rage as her Naruto kun's body was torn apart and burned. As the Yandaimi was praised for his triumph over the demon a rock hit the man square in the face. The villagers, council, and shinobi were outraged that someone would stone the Hokage. Kashina and Minato looked in the direction of where the stone was thrown and spotted Lila standing there. They could see the look of fury and hatred in her eyes. Her chakra was flaring as blue mists were swirling around her whipping the ground. Suddenly they noticed that her chakra was turning pitch black. Black chakra in the shinobi world was a sign of a person giving into their rage and hatred letting it overpower them and give them a strength and power that many would have killed for. Kashina could sense from the woman thanks to her sensor ability that the woman was in love with her former firstborn. 
Lila was showing the signs of the vengeance of a heartbroken lover. The night shroud heiress jumped down and walked over to the pyre. She saw her husband's limbs burning quickly and using a water jutsu, she put the flames out. Taking out a small scroll, she unsealed a small urn and scooped Naruto's ashes into it and resealed it. She left, but not before giving her famous death glare at the Namikaze couple. End flashback her reputation after her lover's execution grew more and more popular. Not just that, but she dove herself into her work as a shinobi even after Minato was reinstated. The only missions she would accept, however, were ones that allowed her to kill people. This worried Minato greatly as her love for blood and killing were leaving a frightening feeling in his mind. Minato noticed that the girl never smiled anymore, her eyes void of any emotions other than malice and hatred. She also gained the nickname the Blood Maiden due to her record of mass killings during missions. She gained a record in the past six years of over 100,000 kills of men, women, even children it didn't matter to her. Even when she was off duty she would train in the forest of death and kill many of the creatures that lived there. Getting up from her spot she stretched her muscles and headed back to the night shroud compound. The compound was the size of the Uchiha district and it on a large sum of land outside of the village. Arriving at the gate she was greeted by her five-year-old daughter Lilith Uzumaki night shroud. She was a beautiful child with her mother's hair and body structure and her father's face and blue eyes. She was like her mother when it came to her dark attitude and bloodlust. She inherited her father's love for pranking and the Uzumaki bloodline of longevity. Mommy Lilith said hugging her mother, my little one hello. She smiled picking up her daughter and twirling her around laughing. Lilith was a godsend, she was the only thing she had left of her beloved Naruto-kun, she could see so much of Naruto in her, their little girl was so full of life and energy. Have you been doing well on your studies? How's your control on your chakra? She asked. My chakra control is great mom. I have a little control over my demon chakra but when I fully master it it'll finally avenge daddy Lilith said proudly. I know you will do your father and I proud my little devil, but remember you still have a long way to go before you are able to take down Minato or his wife Kashina, Lila replied. I know mom, it'll train hard every day and they will be sorry when I make them bow at my feet. That's my girl now how about we go out for some ramen and then start on your basic fuinjutsu training. Ramen 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 Lilith chanted, All right, then let's go, Lilith, Lila said as she took her daughter out to the market district. Whenever Lilith was taken outside, she would always greet the villagers with glares or looks of disdain or hate. She would always play in the park by herself and wouldn't allow anyone to play with her because she blames their parents for her father's death and celebrating it. Many parents were concerned about the child, they knew that she was Lila's daughter since the child acted the same way Lila did to the village population. This was then brought to Minato's attention, he couldn't do anything really since he couldn't interfere with clan affairs. But he was worried as was his wife and sensei, they noticed the child's attitude and cold nature towards the people. Her eyes devoid of any happy emotion except for malice and hatred. Minato had come to the conclusion that Lila passed on her malice for him down to her daughter, Kashina was also the same way when she went to congratulate Lila on her daughter's entrance to the academy. Lilith greeted Kashina with a cold tone and harsh welcome. Many of the council believe the child will tune against the village if continued to be raised by her mother, but thanks to the first Hokage, Minato nor the council can tell a clan head how to raise their children. The villagers quickly parted a path for her to walk as they didn't want to be on the receiving end of her fury like Kakashi and Sasuke. Kakashi ended up in the hospital for about seven months after she beat the living hell out of him for demonizing her as a Kyubi lover. The result of his injuries led him bedridden for seven months. With a broken leg, pierced lung, broken six ribs, a dislocated shoulder. And bruised kidneys, he also lost his Sharingan eye after Lila ripped it out of his eye socket and crushed it in her hand. Sasuke on the other hand got off slightly better than Kakashi. Sasuke on the order of the council was ordered to seduce Lila since she didn't even have a husband. After Lilith was born she refused to reveal who her husband was. Sasuke actually liked Lila for he saw her as an elite with her killing record, a record of over 100,000 kills in just six years, she also completed over 300 SSS rank missions which was mostly assassination missions, this alone and her infamous bloodlust made him want her for his bride, but after many refusals he tried to use force which resulted him ending up in the hospital in a room next to Kakashi. Lila smirked as she relished in the fear of the villagers and shinobi. Ooh it was a real delicate feeling to taste the fear emitting off of them. 
Lilith was walking beside her mother as she too noticed how much the village feared her mother. She loved seeing them like this. The two soon arrived at Ichiraku Ramen where Tuchi and Ayame greeted them. Lilith wanted the special as always as did Lila. Nearby was Kashina and her daughter Natsumi. The wife of the Yandaimi was ordered by her husband to keep an eye on the Night Shroud heiress in case she does something stupid. The Night Shrouds ate their ramen in peace while ignoring the Namikaze's existence. Minato was going through mounds of paperwork, going through the applicants of the new academy students. They had a great amount of new students and the new generation was going to bring Konoha to a new height, however one such application caught his eye, it was Lilith's, according to the girl's sheet she was a gifted prodigy since she was four years old, she mastered all academy jutsus when she was five and mastered all E and D ranked jutsus of her mother's clan, she reminded him of Itachi who was also a prodigy at a young age. Her mentality was a very different story she was sadistic like her mother. She was taught how to torture enemy ninja when she was five according to her mother Lila, Minato's body shivered at the thought of a little girl becoming like her sadistic mother, it was like Lila didn't give her child much of a childhood, but the child proved them wrong as she was loving every single bit of what her mother trained her in, many of the villagers petitioned for the girl not to become a shinobi but quickly recanted when Lila found out and many ended up in the hospital. A loud banging on the door interrupted his thinking as the devil herself Lila Nightshroud came into the office covered in blood, she wore that same smile of satisfaction whenever she completed her mission with great efficiency, she handed him the report of the mission as Minato took it with trembling hands, ever since Naruto's death Minato began to fear the woman as did everyone else. I trust the mission went well Night Shroud? Minato asked. Ooh yes Lila smirked licking her lips, everything that happened is in the report. Unrolling the scroll he read the contents of the mission, he immediately went pale and his anger began to boil. Apparently Lila went a bit too far in the mission, according to the report she murdered many civilians that got in her way of trying to assassinate her target, Minato stood up and unleashed his anger. You were supposed to kill only the target not Anoxan bystanders, Minato shouted. They got in my way Lila scoffed, I completed my mission Hokage-sama, nothing more. We do not kill innocent people, understand Minato said slamming his hands on his desk. Says the man who murdered his son. She countered, so spare me the innocence bullshit. You broke the rules I set for this mission, you were supposed to follow them, Minato yelled. The mission must be completed no matter what Minato, Lila growled, I don't care about your rules you hear me, I am a shinobi and our purpose in life is to lie, cheat, steal, even kill to complete our missions got it. That's not the will of fire, he said before Lila interrupted him again. Who cares about the philosophy of a dead man? Lila screamed shocking Minato. Hashirama, Minato spoke only to get interrupted again. Yeah yeah blah 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 the great Hashirama yada 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 yada, who cares Minato, the old man is dead, his generation is long gone, we are the new generation and I for one will not follow the will of a tree hugging old crone, I live my by my own rules and I stay firm in my beliefs, if you don't like the way I complete my missions then perhaps I should find a village who actually does. Minato sat back down in his seat not even bothering to make a comeback, there was no reasoning with this woman, she was becoming too sadistic and uncaring for anyone or anything, all she cared about was completing her missions no matter what she has to do to get it done, she was almost becoming like Danzo or Orochimaru. You really changed Lila Minato's side, you can thank yourself for that Hokage she hissed. It's been six years Lila let it go, Minato groaned, nothing will bring Naruto back. She grabbed Minato by the neck and held him up in the air choking him. Listen here you little bastard. You think you know me? You think you understand the pain of loss? You never loved your son Minato so don't tell me to let it go. I was Naruto's only friend in this village. Hell I was even the mother your slut wife failed to be. I was the light in his darkness. What's your point Minato gagged trying to breathe? My point is that I am the better person. I was the one thing Naruto loved most in his life. Yes I know he was the Jinchuriki but I didn't care about that, what I saw was a lonely devoid of love filled child in dire need of love and affection, something you failed in greatly, now that he's gone well let's just say you crushed the light in me, I am what's left now a dark hate filled individual who only exists to one day kill you, she drops him on the ground as Minato coughed rubbing his neck, he looked up at the woman as he backed away and got back into his chair. I can have you put to death for attacking the Hokage, Minato threatened trying to show bravery. Ooh yes kill me go ahead and have the rest of my clan go into a bloodlust frenzy against the village, 
Come on Minato I sense your fear and I know this village fears my clan. Hell even your first and second Hokage feared us, so go ahead kill me and thus create a civil war in the village. Minato gripped his fist as he leaned back in his chair, he knew he was beaten, if the Night Shroud clan which consisted mostly of women caught wind of him killing Lila then the village was about to face a group of bloodlust rage filled women on a rampage, he hated losing but not as much as he hated the woman standing before him. Fine I'll forgive you this once, Minato sneered, you'll receive your payment at the mission office. Lovely Lila smirked turning around to leave, how's Lilith doing? He asked making her stop in her tracks, I hear she got quite the sadistic nature similar to yours. And you bring this up why? Lila chuckled, you've been training her to torture and kill people at a very young age, do you have any idea the damage you're inflicting on her mind? Minato asked very concerned for the girl. My daughter is fine Minato, she's a chip of the old block, Lila turned to glare at the Hokage, she is the pride of my clan Hokage, she unlocked our bloodline at the age of 4 when she unlocked her chakra, I've been training her to control it so you got nothing to worry about. I am worried she will become like you Minato shouted, you've become a monster Lila since my former son's death, you kill animals when you train in the forest of death, you put shinobi in the hospital after friendly spars, you no longer care about the well-being of others. My clan, my daughter, my dead husband are the only ones I care about Minato, nothing else matters, the only reason I overkill in my mission is because it's an outlet of my rage for you, since I can't kill you or your stupid precious people or that whore of yours. So you kill other people in your missions to fill in for us, Minato gasped. Now you know Minato, now you know why Lila growled, so anything else you want to know? Yes you mentioned your dead husband, no one here knows who Lilith's father is. My husband made me promise not tell anyone until my daughter was strong enough to protect herself. Well as your Hokage I command you to reveal your husband's identity, Minato said commandingly. Fine, Lila said walking to the door my husband's name is Nanya. Nanya? Minato asked confused, none of ya business, she yelled before leaving the office slamming the door shut. Konoha Academy Lilith was walking to the academy with her mother Lila who came back from her mission today. Lilith was dressed in a black and red battle kimono while her mother was dressed in her anbu gear. Lila was also carrying the newest addition to the family one-year-old Lucifer Night Shroud Uzumaki. He had black spiky hair and he looked exactly like this father Naruto, apparently before Naruto's death six years ago Lila made sure to keep extra semen samples if she wanted more children, the parents of the new students gasped as they noticed Lila and her daughter but they were confused when they saw Lilith kiss the forehead of a baby in the woman's arms, they heard the child say see you after school little brother, did Lila remarry? Did she find someone who would fall in love with her dark nature? So many questions went through their minds as the academy bell rang and all the new students entered to start the shinobi career. Good luck my dear, Lila smiled kissing her daughter's forehead, give them hell and lots of it. Of course I will, I am the heir to father's clan and aunt Kayubi's title of queen of demons Lilith smirked. I do hold her demon chakra after all since dad and auntie fused because of my bastard grandfather's seal. Don't worry Minato doesn't know about your father yet but he will and believe me there will be nothing he can do, thanks to your father signing in blood he gave me all parental rights and he named you the Uzumaki heir since Naruto was the first born, plus Uzumaki law states if the eldest child doesn't claim the heirship and has a child then that child claims it instead, Lila explained, now go spread darkness and pain. Lilith nodded as she followed the batch of students and headed to the classroom where their sensei Uruka Amino greeted them. Uruka has looked over his new class, students from many of the shinobi clans and many civilian students, however he also heard the night shroud heiress was going to be in his class, he heard about her reputation and her training she received from her mother, she was a beauty like her mother but a demon when it comes to battle, there was also the hokage's daughter, he had his work cut out for him. Welcome to the academy, my name is Uruka Amino and I will be your sensei for the duration of your time here, Uruka smiled, why don't you introduce yourself to the class so we can get to know you better. Everyone began to greet the junior or senior students telling them about their likes, dislikes, and their dreams, some had dreams of being legendary shinobi while others dreamed of being hokage, the last ones to introduce themselves was Lilith Nightshroud and Natsumi Namikaze, Natsumi was the spitting image of her mother but with long blonde hair and lovely blue eyes, she stood at a height of 45, 5 tall and she wore black shorts and a white t-shirt with the Uzumaki spiral on the back of it, 
she greeted everyone and smiled. My name is Natsumi Uzumaki Namikaze, I like my family, my village, I love to read, cook with my mom, and I love ramen and learning jutsus, my dislikes are the Kayubi and the Night Shroud clan, I hate rapists too, my dream is to become the Hokage like my dad, Natsumi said looking at Lilith who growled at her. Lilith introduced herself to everyone as well and her introduction was nothing they ever expected. My name is Lilith Nightshroud, I love darkness, torture, learning more of my bloodlust bloodline and spilling blood, my dislikes are Konoha, Minato and his family, that bitch drunken slut Tsunade, and that old cripple Jiraiya, my dream is to be powerful enough to be as strong as Kayubi and wipe out the Namikaze clan and kill Minato and Tsunade. The class gasped at her dream, Uruka and Natsumi fared no better, this girl revealed she wants to be as powerful as Kayubi and to kill the fourth Hokage and Suande of the Sanin, they knew that the girl hated the Hokage but couldn't believe it was to the point that she wants to kill him, Natsumi though wasn't going to take it and confronted her. My dad did nothing to you, we understand your mother's hatred because her demon boy had died, but my daddy did nothing to you that earned your hatred, Natsumi yelled. He still exists that's reason enough for my hatred, Lilith snapped back shocking Natsumi. Not wanting for a fight to break out he asked everyone to take their seat. The class started with the basic curriculum much to the disgust of Lilith. Her mother told her that the academy's academics were utter bullshit that won't help you on the battlefield. However the best part was when it was time for the battle portion of the day. Taijutsu spars was the most fun for Lilith because she was facing against Natsumi. Boy did that go well because the fight between them ended in two minutes as Natsumi ended up with a broken nose. Two broken ribs, her left arm broken in three places and a bloodied up face. Natsumi was rushed to the nurse and her parents had to take her home, when Kashina and Minato confronted her about it her only answer was oops I guess I overdid it Natsumi didn't return to the academy for the rest of the day and at the end of the day Lila picked her up, she told her mother about her day and Lila couldn't be any more proud of her, she took her to Ichiraku ramen to celebrate, when they got there Ayame greeted them. Ooh Lila and Lilith what can I get you? She smiled. The usual as always Lila smiled as Lucifer cooed. Ooh he's so cute Ayame squealed. What's his name Lucifer Night Shroud Uzumaki she smiled. Uzumaki? Ayame asked. Yes he and Lilith are mine and Naruto's children. But how? She asked before Naruto died we had sex and made love, it was wonderful I also gathered semen as well if I wanted more kids, they are all I have left of him and I ask that you keep their father's name a secret until I say so Lila said strongly. I promise Ayame swore, good Lila smiled as they were served their ramen only to be interrupted by an angry pissed off redhead and a pale blonde drunk. You, Kashina shouted, can I help you too? Lila asked. Your daughter put my daughter in the hospital. She's in critical condition, Kashina screamed. Yes, I heard, and I am very proud of my little sadist putting a namikaze in her place, Lila grinned. You won't get away with this, Tsunade fumed, we can charge you with attempted murder. Ha 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 ha, you old cowardly runaway drunk, Lilith laughed, that little bitch knew what to expect in spars, so what if I went overboard? So does many others in their fights against one another, if she can't handle a beat down, then she can't handle being a shinobi. Well said my dear Lila smiled, spoken like a true night shroud. Little Lucifer cooed getting Tsunade and Kashina's attention, since when did Lila have another baby, she never remarried or did she? Yes my little Lucifer yes your big bad sister put a namikaze in her place yes she did yes she did she cooed making him laugh. What the? How did you have another baby? Did you adopt? Tsunade asked. Ooh no I gave birth to him, Lila answered, what but how? You never remarried, Kashina rebuked. You're right, I didn't remarry. I've been saving samples of my husband's sperm before he died, and behold, little Lucifer was born. You named him after the embodiment of evil, Kashina gasped. Well, he needed a strong and fearful name, Lila grinned darkly. Now, unless you want me to send you to the hospital in pieces, leave now. Tsunade cracked her knuckles. That a threat, bitch? Lila grinned as she handed Lucifer to the Ayame. Ooh, it's more of a promise. My clan wiped out yours years ago and I would love nothing more than to kill the last Senju, but apparently that's my daughter's dream, so I am not going to kill you but I will leave you with something better. Using her clan's genjutsu she put Tsunade under the most horrific genjutsu of all time. She made her relive Dan Kato's death over and over in her mind, 
Tsunade began to scream as she also started seeing her brother Nawaka's death as well. She clutched her head as she fell to the ground rolling around spasming like crazy. Lila laughed as Kashina begged her to stop. After about five minutes Tsunade begged her to stop over and over till finally Lila lifted the genjutsu leaving her shaking like a leaf. Now get lost both of you or I won't be so merciful next time she growled. Kashina fearing she was going to be next picked up Tsunade and quickly made a run for it. The villagers who watched the entire thing backed away and scattered. Lila soon took her seat and continued to eat her ramen. Ooh what a fun day in Konoha she hoped she had more fun days like this. Naruto woke up with a startle as he looked around at his surroundings. He was in a strange place that looked like an ancient stone city filled with wandering souls. He must be in the realm of life and death. He stood up as he realized that he was no longer feeling any pain from the torture at the hands of his former parents and village. He was instead surrounded by surges of red energy which he welcomed as he noticed Kurama was sitting next to him. The fox smiled at him as her tails wrapped around him holding him close. Kurama is this? Naruto asked. Yes Naruto this is purgatory where the people who died are judged before they ascend to heaven or hell, Kurama answered. Wait how are we separate I thought Minato's seal merged our souls together. We are still merged Naruto, I am just free to leave your body at will now. Well at least we will spend eternity together, Naruto smiled. Such a hard life you have lived Naruto, said a voice behind him. Naruto and Kurama looked to see who else was here with them in this strange place they then saw a bright light that forced them to shield their eyes for a bit. It eventually passed to the point that they saw a woman of immense beauty that was beyond explanation or words. Who are you? asked Naruto. My name is Kami and welcome to the land known as Purgatory, she answered as she landed on the ground. As she did, the ground lit up as she walked towards Naruto and held his chin with her hand so that she could peer into his eyes. Naruto was unable to look away for both the reasons that she wouldn't let him and even if he could move his head she was too beautiful to look away from. So you're here to judge my soul is that it? Naruto asked Kami. Yes I am said the woman as she let go of his face and stepped away from him. So do I finally get some peace that I deserve and get to ascend to the heavens above, sighed Naruto since if this was Kami, she would be able to see into his heart and mind and see that he was innocent of all that his abusers had said he was guilty of. I wish it was that easy, said Kami with a heavy heart. What do you mean, said Kurama as he did not like where this conversation was going. While it is true that Naruto's soul is deserving of the heavens, said Kami as she circled around him with her hands behind her back, I am afraid that he can't enter it. Why, growled Naruto since he would not be denied what was rightfully his since he was innocent. Because of the seal placed on you by your father, your soul has merged with the demon that once resided within you. Because of that reason you cannot ascend into the heavens and I have no choice but to send you into the depths of hell to suffer for the sins of the Kyubi. Now wait a minute Kyubi only did that because of your creation of mankind, Naruto said defending his friend, Kurama isn't to blame for how she turned out. I am only judging based on what I have seen Kami said annoyed. So now you're saying I must suffer from the actions of my father not only in life but in death as well? Shouted Naruto who was furious about what she had said. He was innocent and she was going to send him to hell anyways. I am afraid so, she sighed, I don't make the rules I follow them. Bullshit your kami for fuck's sake. Naruto shouted again, you said my soul was deserving of the heavens but now because of what that bastard sperm donor and that walking incubator of his did to me I have to suffer more, are you you out of your freaking mind? Hold your tongue you insolent brat, said kami as the ground around her began to crack as she got angry, for you are addressing a god. Oh? Really a god who would sentence an innocent child for the sins of his good for nothing piece of shit father, ooh yeah you're a real piece of work, some goddess you are, the shinigami probably has more brains than you do, at least she punishes souls the right way. Kami grew angry at being addressed as such by this mortal and made her anger known by slapping him hard across the face. You know what I had felt bad for you at first, but after that little tantrum I am now over it she said as she composed herself once more since a god needed to look the part. Oh spare me your fake concern Kami, Naruto scoffed, you want to send me to hell fine go ahead, see if I care maybe Yami herself will welcome me since she would know the difference between tainted evil and innocence. You really are a smart ass errant you Kami fumed, I should just send you to the lowest pits of hell and let it devour your soul. Umai my look at this the might Kami threatening to kill a child, 
I didn't know the Almighty Goddess of Light and Life had a dark side, the boy taunted her with a sneer on his face. That's enough you have left me with no choice, said Kami as she summoned heavenly chains that wrapped around Naruto and held him down, doing so made him remember his execution and his anger rose up once more as he did. You may send me to suffer for an eternity, said Naruto as he felt as his body became squeezed by the chains around him, but know this Kami, I have left a legacy when I gave my love to Lila, she's probably had my baby by now, I may be dead but my legacy will complete the revenge I crave on my former parents and village. Naruto's eyes glowed red as his rage reached his limit and he used the power behind it to break free from the chains that Kami had used to hold him. Kami looked at him in genuine surprise since he had just broken through her heavenly chains which should not have been possible in the first place, yet she quickly recovered from the shock and used her power to encase him in a pyramid of heavenly energy. Enjoy the pits of hell Naruto, I can only pray that your human soul remains untainted, maybe one day you'll be able to enter the heavens but for now you and the Ninetales will suffer together in the fire pits of hell, but since I am a merciful goddess I'll only send you to less Torgus ring of hell. Naruto struggled as the pyramid sunk into the ground, he ranted out how he would make Kami pay dearly for what she has done to him, his shouts of anger and hate didn't fall deaf ears as Kami took every insult, every shout of anger, she took all the hate, anger, and sadness the boy let out until he vanished from sight. Forgive me Naruto but this is the way it must be Kami said before she ascended back to the heavens to continue her duty overlooking humanity. Konohagakir meanwhile back on earth things in the village hidden in the leaves weren't going so well. Apparently Konoha allies heard what happened to Naruto and thus the countries that viewed Naruto as their hero and savior broke off their alliances with Konoha leaving the leaf without any allies to back them up in times of war. They also lost lots of trading routes and other merchant guilds because of this, Minato didn't know what to do, he didn't know his former son was a hero in other countries. Lila however took the opportunity to rub it in his face and what his decisions for killing Naruto had cost the leaf. Another problem was that the council had demanded that Lila marry Sasuke Uchiha and help rebuild the Uchiha clan. Lila of course refused which had the council threatened to strip her of her clan status and have her arrested. Of course they were defeated when it was discovered that the fire Daiwaimo had given her immunity from the leaf village as she was the Daimo's diplomatic ambassador. They couldn't touch her but it got worse when Sasuke once tried to force himself upon her which resulted in him being castrated which caused the Uchiha line to go extinct, unless they pardon Itachi for his crimes against the village. The Namikaze family wasn't doing any better, Tsunade was in intense care in the hospital with Inoichi Yamanaka trying to undo the damage Lila did to her mind, Natsumi after her fight with Lilith had to stay in the hospital for a whole month due to her injuries, Kashina begged Minato to do something but Minato's hands were tied, Jiraiya couldn't think of any ideas until he finally thought of one. I got an idea Jiraiya smiled, I know how we can fix this. What is it sensei? Minato asked, well all of this misfortune happened because we killed Naruto right? Yes so we could finally be rid of the Kyubi why? Kashina asked. Well if we want to appease our allies and bring Lila and her ball of hellfire daughter under control, we have to resurrect Naruto. The Namikaze couple looked at Jiraiya as if he was crazy, bringing back Naruto would do more harm than good, especially since the boy would try and kill them at the first chance he got. Sensei that's a bad idea you know by bringing him back we bring back the Ninetales as well, Minato argued, remember my seal fused their souls into one being. Not unless you ask Kami to separate them, Jiraiya smirked. Kashina and Minato blinked in confusion. Jiraiya sighed as he knew he would have to expel in it to make them understand. Look all we have to do is perform the heavenly divine seal and summon Kami. Then we ask her to resurrect Naruto for us but separate him from the Kyubi first, that way the boy will be powerless to fight against us and we can use Fuenjutsu to erase his bad memories of us, then we can rebuild him into a loyal shinobi of the leaf, the Sanin explained. Plus as a bonus with the Gaki back Lila will calm down and she will return to her normal non-vengeful bloodlust self, since she obviously loved the boy. Sensei you're a genius Minato smiled, Kashina and I will start on the seal right away. Kashina and her husband began working on the seal as the heavenly divine seal was a very complex and dangerous seal to make, while they were working on it Jiraiya was tasked to bring Lila and her daughter to the office. The making of the seal took the Namikaze couple three hours to make and since Kashina was the better seal master she made sure that every single seal was made right. Minato are you sure this will work? Kashina asked. 
It will work Kushi Chan, Minato smiled, once this seal is finished and we get Naruto back everything will go back to normal, our allies will return to us and Lila will finally be put on a leash and will turn away from her love for killing, plus she will end her longing to kill us. I hope so, the Night Shroud family is more dangerous than any foe we faced, Kashina shivered, the sooner they're tamed the better. Minato I brought Lila and her daughter as ordered said Jiraiya. Lila stood with her daughter and her one-year-old son in her arms, Lila wondered what the hell Minato wanted with her now. What do you want this time Minato? Lila demanded, you better have a good reason of sending this perverted cripple to bring me here. We brought you here because we discovered a way to appease our allies and keep you happy, Minato said proudly. Ooh really, and what pray tell could you possibly have discovered that would make me happy? Lila snarled. Bringing Naruto back from the dead, Kashina answered, but according to the formula it needs the blood of a powerful force, and there is no one more powerful than the bloodlust of the Night Shroud clan. You're using the heavenly divine seal aren't you? Lila asked. The Night Shroud clan knows about the seal since they invented it, it was a counterpart to the Reaper Death Seal and it summoned Kami instead of the Shinigami, it allowed Kami to return a person back from the dead in exchange for someone else's life. Yes we will bring back Naruto then we will ensure that he forgets about what happened so that he can finally be the boy he was meant to be before the Kyubi attack. Lila didn't know what to think, I mean if she gave them her blood she could see Naruto again, but on the other hand Naruto would then be brainwashed by the village and she didn't want that, Lilith knowing what her mother was thinking decided to speak her piece. We will let you perform the seal but only if Naruto is turned over to the Night Shroud clan Lilith said firmly and commandingly. Who are you to demand something from the Hokage? Jiraiya yelled. It's fine Jiraiya said Minato, alright Lilith you have a deal. Lilith cut her hand and placed it over the seal, the drops of blood dropped into the center as the seal glowed a ravishing gold color, everyone shielded their eyes as the celestial being appeared before them, no one dared move a muscle as they were in the presence of greatness. Who has summoned me? Kami asked, we have Kami Sama said Minato. We have summoned you to ask for the return of our son Naruto Uzumaki. You mean that insufferable disrespectful brat who gave me lip, the boy who insulted me and degraded me and my status that brat? Kami seethed. Naruto did that? Kashina gasped, wow didn't know Naruto had it in him Lila laughed. Well you can have him, Kami scoffed, maybe you'll be able to best some manners into that kid. We shall do so Kami sama, Minato smiled, please return our son. Kami nodded as she went through hand signs of her own to locate Naruto and bring him back to the land of the living. Realm of Hell Yami was having a drink with her new arrivals Naruto and Kurama, she listened to the stories of Naruto's life and she herself were disgusted with what Kami's creation had done to him, however Naruto told her not all humans are bad, Yami's fun time was cut short as she felt a powerful force trying to penetrate her realm, she sensed the power of a powerful seal and one she despised, she immediately alerted Naruto of the seal. Naruto I just sensed the heavenly divine seal, someone has unleashed it and apparently Kami is here to bring you back to the land of the living. What? Who's trying to bring me back? Naruto asked frantically, can you find out who it is? Oh I can see Kami with your former parents and they want you back to appease their allies who abandoned them after your execution, they also want you alive so you can keep Lila under control. Lila how is she? She okay? Naruto gasped. Yes Naruto she's fine and it looks like you have a six year old daughter named Lilith and a year old son named Lucifer, Yami answered. I am a papa Naruto cried happily, I am really a papa. Ooh dear Yami gasped, what is it? Kurama asked. They want Kami to separate Kurama from you, what no I won't let them, Kurama is the closest person I have to a mother, Naruto shouted sounding pissed off. Kurama grabbed him and hugged him tightly, it's okay Sochi I won't let them separate us. How ka san? Naruto cried, by fully merging together Kurama said softly. W what? Naruto asked, what are you talking about? What I mean Sochi is that I am going to become half of you, I will give up my physical form and my existence and became part of you, Kurama said with tears in her eyes. Ka san no can't leave me, you've been with me since before I was born. You're all I had Naruto cried into her chest. Kurama ran her hand through his hair and cried softly, Naruto listen to me, this is the only way we will be together, now I want you to know that every moment you love being yourself, that's me loving you and loving being you, 
because you'll become something extraordinary you're going to be powerful yokai deity. Kurama's chakra and spirit begin to manifest into glowing white chakra as Kurama looked into Naruto's tearing blue eyes, she gently wiped them away as she smiled. Naruto this is not goodbye I am always going to be with you even when you can't see me, I'll always be by your side, she cried kissing his forehead as she vanished completely into his body. Naruto sniffled as his body began to change, his physical appearance changed as his blonde spiky hair turned blood red and extended down to the back of his neck, his eyes once a beautiful blue turned pitch black with red slits, he now stood at the height of 5 feet 8 inches tall, he was no longer a weak boy of 13, no he was now a man of the age of 21. Naruto Uzumaki is dead, but Naruto Kurama Night Shroud is alive and ready to cut down some Konoha ass. You're throwing away your humanity? Yami gasped, is that wise? They stole my humanity when I was born, I have no need for it anymore Naruto said disgustingly as he felt the presence of Kami and his body vanished in a bright light. Konohagakir, Hokage's office Minato and the others soon saw a bright light as it took a silhouette form of a woman in the shape of Kagaya, then Kurama until it stopped and took the form of a human male, the light cleared as it revealed a tall man with black eyes and short red hair as he slowly descended to the ground. Everyone even Kami was confused at who had just appeared. The man just stood there looking at everyone without saying a word, after moments of silence Kami spoke out. What is this? Where is Naruto? Kami demanded, he's gone the man said softly. What did you say? Answer me she demanded again, he's g o n n n n n n n e e e e the man shouted as a huge crater formed under him causing the floor to crack beneath their feet almost knocking them even Kami off balance. Naruto turned to look at Lila and her children, taking a single step he began to walk towards them. Lila could see that the man was really Naruto and she was already loving his new look. Where do you think you're going? Kami shouted as Naruto ignored her and kept walking, don't you dare take one more step. Naruto continued to ignore her and walked closer to his wife and kids. Kami upset at being ignored by this disobedient mortal finally snapped. That's enough she said firing a blast at Naruto only for him to block it with a black crystal shield. Ah you little, she growled firing a more powerful blast. Naruto deflected that blast too as he was inside a dome like shield, it seems his new powers were able to protect him from the divine power of Kami. Arg don't you wave your shield at me, I only want you to be yourself, your untainted self if you can't do that. Then I'll do it for you Kami shouted firing beams from all directions at the dome like shield. The shield held pretty good against the attacks, Naruto spread his arms out dispelling the shield sending the blasts back at Kami. The deity took the hardest hit but so did Minato, Kashina and Jiraiya as they fell back. Kami hit the ground with a loud thud as Naruto continued his way over to Lila and stopped in front of her. Naruto she said reaching out to touch his cheek, you're really here? Naruto only nodded yes my love I have returned, Kurama gave her life for mine, she's become half of me. She did what any mom would do Lila smiled, ooh these are your children Lilith and Lucifer. Naruto smiled kneeling down looking at his eldest, she was the spitting image of her mother but she had his face, he greeted her with a hug as he picked her up and smiled at his baby boy who was a cabin copy of himself. They are beautiful, you made me the happiest man in existence, Naruto smiled. They were Naruto's? Minato coughed making them look at him, Naruto was the father the whole time? That's right Minato before my execution and I am not your son anymore, Kurama and I have fully merged now and because of that Kurama gave up her existence to save me, Naruto growled. Kayubi is finally dead? Kashina gasped in happiness, this is wonderful news. She may be dead Kashina but she became half of me, meaning I have become the new Ninetales. Naruto you can still come back from this, it's not too late to save your soul, say the word and it'll set your spirit free and it can enter the heavens when you die of old age, said Kami. No she's the mother I always wanted, she was there for me when the incubator Kashina wasn't, so no thanks, I am not letting you separate me from my mother you got that, Naruto shouted, the things I do for humanity Kami sighed as she vanished since her job was finished, now Lila let's go home to the night shroud compound and be the family that we were meant to be. Naruto smiled, I like that very much Lila smiled as the whole family left the office for the compound, thanks for watching.